Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis, which sounds exactly like Pneumatosis Intestinalis. We've been talking about rheumatoid arthritis for a long time, and today we'll talk about prognosis. Because in the previous video, we have talked about the diagnosis. Today is the prognosis. ESR is high, CRP is high. We have rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP. When either or both of them are available, we call this seropositive rheumatoid arthritis. And this is Rose, my rheumatoid patient, the caricature of a patient. With that being said, now let's get started. I've told you a bazillion times that rheumatological diseases are either, either in, non-inflammatory or inflammatory. Rheumatoid is inflammatory, therefore you have all of this crazy stuff. Rheumatoid arthritis is inflammatory, therefore you have cardinal signs of inflammation, constitutional symptoms, joint pain improves with use, it's worse in the morning, it's better in the evening, symmetric joint involvement, elevation of ESR and CRP. Generally speaking, autoimmune diseases are more common in females, and rheumatoid arthritis is no exception. It's inflammatory, it affects small joints, commoner in females, chronic disease, joint flow in the So, white blood cells, more than 2,000. Predominantly neutrophils during the acute flares. Morning stiffness for more than 30 minutes. To be better, or to be more accurate, it's more than one hour. Because it's an inflammatory arthritis, and in cases of inflammatory arthritis, stiffness predominates. In case of non-inflammatory arthritis, pain predominates. Next, it's inflammatory, therefore we have synovitis. Therefore, rheumatoid arthritis is going to involve the synovial joints because there is no synovial membrane to inflame in case of a fibrous joint, let alone a fibrocartilaginous one. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune, systemic, symmetrical, chronic, inflammatory polyarthritis of unknown etiology, involves small peripheral joint more common in women than men, can have articular and extra-articular manifestations. This deal is not going to be there forever. Perfectionals Ultimate Notebook 25, 20 lymphoma case, 25 bleeding cases, available for a limited time only, and I have less than 20 of those left for less than 5 bucks. Come on. If you have both rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP in the serum, you have worse prognosis, more aggressive symptoms, extra articular manifestations. Rheumatoid arthritis is associated with HLA-DR4 and it carries worse prognosis. Let's review rheumatoid in one minute. You have the patient, typical is 40 to 50 year old female. ESR is high, CRP is high because it's an inflammatory arthritis. Rheumatoid factor, anti-CCP. What's rheumatoid factor? IgM against the FC portion of IgG. We have white blood cells in the joint that are more than 2,000 because it's an inflammatory problem. We have a panus, which is an inflamed granulation tissue that's crazy. We have TNF alpha and interleukin 1. And we have these symptoms. We have the articular symptoms, involvement of the PIP and the MCP and the rest. Then we have the extra articular manifestations such as these rheumatoid nodules, hepcidin or anemia of chronic disease. We have basal intrapulmonary fibrosis of the lung and we have pericarditis and we have atlantoaxial subluxation. We have scleritis and episcleritis and carpal tunnel syndrome. Boom. Diagnosis of rheumatoid was discussed in the previous video. We need at least six weeks of symptoms. We have clinical diagnosis, lab, joint flow analysis, radiology and tissue biopsy. Now today's topic. Poor prognosticators of rheumatoid arthritis, pay close attention. HLA-DR4 carries bad prognosis. If you want to be very sophisticated, here is the name of the HLA. It's called HLA-DR-B1-0401. star It's like my phone number. Increased titer of rheumatoid factor anti-CCP, called seropositive, carries poor prognosis. Increased ESR-CRP means it has more inflammation therefore carries poor prognosis. More than six joint involvement, that's of course bad, makes perfect sense. Constitutional symptoms is fever, night sweat, weight loss, etc. Poor prognosis. If you see erosions on x-rays, poor prognosis. Extra articular manifestations carry poor prognosis, such as the most common one is the rheumatoid nodules. Also, you have carditis, such as pericarditis. You have Interstitial pulmonary fibrosis, which is basal with low glucose and low pH, kind of a pleural effusion. You have neurological symptoms such as mononeuritis multiplex, which is a stupid name. You can have carpal tunnel syndrome. You have vascular symptoms such as vasculitis. What causes vasculitis? Type 3 hypersensitivity reaction, immune complex depositions in those vessels. If you need to know more about rheumatoid arthritis, I have a PDF on my Patreon page. It used to be one buck, today it's five bucks. Sorry, I'm sorry. 
And of course, in the PDF, we discussed likelihood ratio, most commons, and other stuff. If you love visual medical mnemonics, see Picmonic, and the link is in the description. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Go to Facebook to have more than 100 cases. You can follow me on all of these platforms. You can support this channel by going to Patreon.com for and I'll give you my PDF notes. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.